Alright, welcome back. So in the last video, we showed you how to change from one branch into another and then back again. In this video, we'll talk a little bit more about branches, how they work, and how we can merge them together. So if we look at this little diagram that I created, we can see that these zeros represent commits. So this would be our initial commit, and this line here would be our master branch. And at some point, at the second commit, we decided, hey, let's go ahead and open up a new branch called feature one. So we branch off and this line here is representing the feature one branch. So we can see that feature one has commits of its own and then we went back to master at some point and continued to make commits there. So these commits are all different from one another and at some point we're going to want to merge either master into feature or vice versa to get these commits all onto one timeline. So let's see what happens when we switch over to the feature branch and we start creating some new commits. Right now we can see that we're inside of master so we'll use the git checkout feature one command and that'll get us into the feature one branch. Now if we do a git log we can see that the latest commit is update readme which is one that I created whenever I updated the readme with this new information. And it has all the previous commits from the master branch. So currently master branch and feature branch are in the same place. Now if we make some changes on the feature branch and we commit them, let's see what happens. So we will touch a file5.html and if we do a git status we can see that we have an untracked file 5, so we'll git add file5.html. We'll check our status again. We can see that it's in the staging area, and we'll go ahead and commit it, and we'll say add file5.html. So now if we check our git log, we can see our most recent commit, add file5.html. Now what happens if we go back to the master branch? Will this commit be there? We'll use git checkout master to get us back onto the master branch. And now we'll check our log. And not only did we see file 5 disappear on the left hand side inside of our tree, we also can see that the commit for adding file 5 no longer exists. Interesting. So if we go back and git checkout feature 1 branch again, file 5 reappears. And if we check the log, there's that add file5.html. So this commit right here would represent this zero on this feature one branch. So this zero up here is not the same as this zero down here on the master branch. So currently, this is what our branch system looks like. We have some commits on the master branch and then we branch off and on feature one we have a new commit that master knows nothing about. So now if we go back to master and we create a new file here we'll say touch file 6.html and then we check our status and we add file 6.html make a nice little commit message here add file 6.html and we check our git log, we can see that update commit that I created and then our latest one, add file6.html. This is inside of the master branch. So if we go back and check out feature one and do a git log, we see the add file5.html, but we don't see the add file6.html and the file6.html no longer exists. So what's happened here is we've created a, another commit on the master branch that feature one branch knows nothing about. So the question is, how are we going to get it to where the master branch knows about feature one branch, the commits that are on that branch anyway, or vice versa? What we want to do is bridge the gap here by merging these branches together, and then we'll have a commit that ties them all together. So you can see here we have master branch and we have feature one branch and we want to bridge between the two branches 
And what git will do is it'll create a new commit that ties in the commits for both the branches together so that now we have a full history of not only feature one branch changes and commits, but also master branch changes and commits. And that'll be reflected in this newly created commit that git will create automatically for us when we use the merge command. So how do we do that? Well, currently we're in feature one. So to make a representation like this, what we need to do is type git merge and the name of the branch that we want to merge into feature one. So we can do it this way or we can do a git checkout master and we can do a git merge feature one and we can merge feature one into master. So let's say that feature one is a new form on our website and we've got it working exactly how we want it. So now we want to tie that code back into our master branch. Well, what we would do is we would check out our master branch and then we would merge feature one back into it. So we'll go ahead and go with the second option here of git merge feature one, which like I said, will merge feature one branch into master. So if we hit enter, what's happened here is GNU Nano has been opened up. Now this is how C9 does it because they're using a Linux box and they have a program called Nano set up in there. Sometimes you'll see a program called Vim and there's a couple other ones, but they're all pretty similar. Basically what's going on here is we're inside of the message portion of a git commit and a commit message has actually already been entered in for us automatically. It says merge branch feature one. Then all you have to do is exit. Down here you can see the command for exit is control X. So we'll type control X and we can see this message that git gives us saying merge made by the recursive strategy file5.html one file changed a couple other things going on here let's go ahead and look at our git log and see what this means for us so now we're on our master branch and we have this merge branch feature one commit also note on the left hand side we now have this file 5.html that's pretty cool now with this most recent commit git is aware of the changes that were made on the feature branch and that commit so we have this new commit that was created by git for us and basically what we have going on here now is represented by something closer to this so we have our feature branch and it is being merged down into our master branch. So the changes that were made here with file5.html are now being merged down and represented by a new commit, the one we have here, merge branch feature one. And so this is that most recent one and this is what ties feature branch back into master branch. And we can continue on with master branch or we can go back up to feature branch continue making new changes and new commits and then merge them again later on down the line so that's it for merging and in the next video we'll show you how to remove a branch